for the Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra to tell me all about this great performance. Good morning to you, Dr. Everett. Good morning, Krista. Thank you so much for joining us today. So as I was learning more, we have a couple of these posters hanging up around, uh, around the station here. And the other day I stopped and actually took a close look. And you can tell that the, orca the conductor on the poster is very obvious that he's in a concentration camp. So can you tell me a little bit um, about this, what do you call it, a concert drama. Can you tell me about what people will experience when they get there and why, it's, why you chose to call it a concert drama? So this is a concert drama created by Murray Sidlin. Mm -hmm. He will also be conducting it this weekend here in Bismarck. It tells the story of another conductor, Raphael Schechter, who was a prisoner at the Terrazan concentration camp. Terrazan is located about 40 miles north of Prague and you can still visit there today and there's a museum that also tells some of these stories. It was a unique holding camp in between the other camps with gas chambers like Auschwitz or Dachau. It was a camp that was also unique because it had many artists and musicians, actors. It also unfortunately had many children. Mm -hmm. And so this choral director who was a prisoner there, Rafi Schechter, had one score to the Verdi Requiem. Now us musicians, we know the Verdi Requiem is an enormous thing to undertake even if you're with a professional orchestra in a beautiful concert hall. So the idea that he took this and taught it by rote to the prisoners, it was a purpose of giving them something to hold on to, giving them something to live for in that moment, but also his idea that we can sing to the Nazis what we cannot say to them. Wow, amazing. So it's a true, it circles around a true story. And uh, how, how are you hoping that that um, affects the audience as they're sitting and taking in this performance? I've had the chance to see the Defiant Requiem three different times. So yeah. two times in Washington, D.C. And then we also brought it to Bemidji, where I'm also the conductor. And we did it there about 12 years ago. Um, it uses actors as well as multimedia. So one of the things Murray has done over the years is ha he has videos of actual survivors of this camp who participated in the singing of the Verdi Requiem or who heard these concerts. And so part of what you'll experience this weekend is seeing those videos of those actual survivors telling their story. Wow, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Mr. Sidlin. You worked with him very closely and he has done amazing things throughout his career. What is it like, you've worked with him before, but what is it like to work with him again, but with the Symphony Man and Man Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra this time? It's such an honor to have him here, and it really, you know, it's like everything coming full circle. I mean, when you're a young conductor, you have to have someone else who's been out there doing it believe in you. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you can just sort of walk out and say, hey, I'm going to become a conductor because you have to have something to conduct and you have to learn and there's many different layers of that learning process. And I just feel incredibly blessed and lucky that I was able to have Murray as one of those teachers early on and someone who saw something in me that maybe I didn't even see in myself. And so to have that translate to then having him here in our community, to work with our musicians, to meet the people of our community is just really incredible. I almost don't have words for it. It truly is. He is a very, very special person. To ha He actually created the foundation. And to have him here in Bismarck, you know, working with our symphony orchestra, I think is just an amazing uh, badge of honor for, for, us, uh, for us as a community. It is this evening at 7.30, we're showing the film about the Defiant Requiem at the Bell. That's a free event. And Murray will be there and there'll be a question and answer session after that. And then our performances Friday night and Saturday night. The performances are at 7.30, but at 7 p.m. on each of those nights, we'll also be having a pre-concert lecture that he will be part of to talk to some of those audience members in a more intimate manner. Wow, and so how does this, I know having worked with Murray before, this has got to rank pretty high up on your list of accomplishments uh, for as long as you've been with the Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra. So how would you compare this experience to maybe other performances that you've done at the Bell? Well, it's unlike any other that I've done. And the reason that it was so important to me to bring this here is because of its message. Mm -hmm. um, it's as timely today as it ever has been in terms of how can we use music to help change the world. 
And after my first experience of seeing the Defiant Requiem, I had the goal of bringing it to these communities. We did it, as I said, in Bemidji about 12 years ago, and we talked about bringing it to Bismarck, and it just took a little longer to get it here. Yes, well, now that it is here, it's certainly something that people should definitely try to see if they can. An amazing performance. And like you said, uh, sorry, I think we probably have less than a minute here, but uh, you're not even using your full orchestra for this, right? That's correct. I won't be conducting. I'll be one of the actors portraying uh, someone who was in the camp. Um, we're using our violinist, our concert master, Maureen Murchie, and then cellist Abby Eads, and then an incredible pianist who's come here, Arlene Schrutt, who's who's really taking on the orchestral parts. And then I wanted to give a shout out to the Bismarck Mandan Civic Chorus, uh, Dr. Tom Porter, and the students of Bismarck State College under the direction of Jason Thomes, who will be uh, singing this. Wow. Um, and our soloists, Corliss Euchre, Tammy Hensrud, Jason, and Emerson Eads. Wow, amazing. What a great experience for those BSC students as well. So one last time, uh, Dr. Revler, can you tell us where we can get tickets and where we can find more information? You can find information on our website, BismarckMandanSymphony.org. You can purchase tickets through the Bismarck Events Center or at the door. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this message and about this awesome performance that's going to happen right here. Thank you, Krista. Yes, thanks so much for your time. Stick around. I'll have a look at your seven-day forecast when we come back right after this.